Well, he's not happy and he wouldn't be, would he? Because this is now the worst season for Pep Guardiola at Manchester City. Just those 34 points from 17 games. Still, though, sat in fourth position. But what's wrong? Well, uh, we're, we're all, the, the footballing world is trying to figure out how, how can we pick this City team apart because they, they, they haven't shown us any weaknesses. One win in six. Drop points from winning positions, we, we rarely ever see that from, from City. And I even said yesterday, like, until they show me something, I can't doubt them. Well, they're showing it to us now. Um, the biggest problem is I know, I know Bex, if, if they're going to have some games in hand and, and teams could, could pull away from them. But ultimately, right now, the gap isn't that big. De Bruyne to come back. I know they're not a one-man show. But De Bruyne to come back. Defensively, they've been a little bit abnormal because we don't see that from them. They take the game. They score the first goal. They get two and three, and then the game's out of sight. So defensively, they've been frail. They've been a little bit irresponsible. But I think that can be corrected. Ultimately, they still haven't given me a reason to, to completely write them off because they are so powerful. Good coach, good squad, and we know late in the season, they come really, really good. But how worried do you think City fans are? I think as, as worried as they've been uh, under Pep. Maybe, well, obviously in these last, the last years of Pep, the dominant years of Pep, really. Um, yeah, and, and I think there's a couple of things. I think... Um, the sloppiness over the last few weeks is evident. Um, you could call that unprofessional, Rebecca. I think over the last couple of games, when you think of Luton, they came back, but they were in trouble against Luton Town. Crystal Palace, depleted Crystal Palace. Their squads are infinitely better than those two, and yet they had difficulties beating them. They're usually so controlling in their football, first off, and also in recent seasons, the reason I've given them Wow, they figured out is the defensive side of things. They brought in Guardial and they've got they play with four centre backs often. There's all this talk about Roger does a great job. Well, Roger's played in recent weeks and they still conceded. So they need to switch on again mm -hmm. because when they switch on, they're unbeatable almost. They're not at that level right now. Whether it's mentality, whether it's the, the four in a row that Pep keeps saying is difficult to achieve, they're not where they, they usually are. And there's players to come back. But it's as worrying probably as the fans. I'm not sure they're that worried given what they've won. But do you know what I mean? It's, it's not it's anywhere near their normal level. But he's supposed to be the best manager in the world. Yeah. So now this is a test him. Yeah, and I, and I think that's, that's a, the right point is we're noticing it. I, there's no doubt he's in the dressing room. He's on the, on the plane. He sees their defensive frailties. There's no doubt about that. He's a fixer. He can fix it. He has before. And I think the player, like when I look at the players of Manchester City, one of the things that stands out about their championship mentality is they're so strong. I think this team can, can coach itself. It, it need, Pep needs to give them some motivation, particularly defensively. But these players can correct it. What is it? Is it the motivation? Is it that? Is it? Are Maybe. we finally seeing that that just that energy, that that extra edge that they have, that the mind they find mm -hmm. a way mm -hmm. to get into that top gear and then. Go. I mean, they might do it again. They're, they're still, what, three points off right now <laughs> with a game extra for the others to play. Um, so it is early to write them off, but I think, wow. Like, but if there's one season, I don't think they're going to win it. It's this season. For, for sure, but, but they still will be right in the thick of it. With that, with that team, with that mentality, yeah. they won't be far off the title. I mean, it's going to be right to the end. And especially, as you always say, the way that come February, March, they often go up a gear as well. So that could be on the way. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.